Hello, YouTube. Welcome to my book collection for the second in a series of um, slightly offbeat Mezcal reviews. Um, last time we were in Michoacan, we're going back to Oaxaca and back to Espadín, but not um, quite as normal. So this is the uh, the Vago um, Espa, uh, Elote, sorry. Um, and what this is, uh, well, I'm going to put um, sort of all the detailed data um, uh, in my description. But basically what's what's going on here is uh, this is an espadine based mezcal where they basically thrown blue corn, like toasted blue corn in for the last distillation. Um, okay, so what's what effect is that going to have? So, it's, so it's think of it as, as like a pachuga, but instead of um, a chicken, they're throwing in, you know, corn. Um, and you might think, okay, well, corn, your, so your mind goes to like, like bourbon. Um, corn whiskey is, is very mellow. It's very fat and, and, and nice. So you might uh, immediately think, okay, so what they're, what they're doing is they're going to sort of smooth out their mezcal, maybe for the, for the uh, lazy American palate, um, a little more than that. Um, and, you know, it's just, it's just uh, you know, something for something for people who don't like, you know, real serious flavors, right? Um, <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's begin. By the way, this is this is an older bottle. This is um, uh, this is the fermentation date uh, December twenty thirteen. I bought this in New York, I think about maybe six years ago. I, I remember it being like the first batch to hit the U.S. So um, you know, further batches may be may be different from this, but um, <laughs> so um, <laughs> you can tell from my reaction. Um, uh, I hope uh, I hope the ones that are that are more recent are, are still like this. Um, so you stick your nose into this, expecting you know mezcal, that sort of smoky, sweet, um, green pepper, vegetal thing. You know, you you know that sort of stuff. What we're getting is mint. Um, this is just intensely minty. It's like okay, there's spearmint and, and peppermint, but it's it's more than that. It's like um, um, you know mint extract it's it's almost like a um um creme de menthe you know the the sort of slightly disgusting liqueur you use for christmas drinks sometimes it's green um but it's it's much earthier than that it, it smells kind of muddy there's a little, little fennel in there it feels you know both a little bit artificial and kind of real and and grimy and earthy at the same time um, little hints of like creamed corn, um, in there and, but it's kind of a ashy, I, I, that's kind of the, the extent of the mezcal character is the, there's a kind of cigar ash, ashtray characteristic to this. Um, beyond that, um, a little bit of honey, but like honeydew honey, um, it's this sort of very... Um, thick, kind of soury, off-sweet hunt style of honey. Um, Darjeeling leaves, not the tea, like just just the just the, just the um, the dry leaves, and Twizzlers. Weirdly enough, um, little little jalapeno in there, like sort of dry peppers, um, black pepper, um, kind of smoky, like a like a plastic smoke thing like you you um you know you lit the the interior of a kia on fire um little hint of lime zest in there um yeah but the mint just absolutely dominates this uh so on the palate Yeah, earthy creme de mint. The 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 mint is is still just running over everything else here. Um, it's a little hot. Um, it's that's not a problem. This is um, fifty two point one percent alcohol. The other again, other batches are going to be different. I'm sure. Um, yeah, it's crazy minty. Like uncanny. There's a little other. There's some other stuff. 
like a kind of cigarette ashtray thing, like maybe a little bit of, um, like if you um, took some cigar filler, maybe um, like Honduran cigar filler or something like that, and just threw it in your mouth and chewed on it. Um, but it really, it's it's like mint with a little little twist of, of, of lemon in there. Um, like a little brininess, um, kind of earthy mineral thing. Okay, now I'm now I'm starting to get a, a little a little sweetness. Um, yeah, kind of Twizzler with a Twizzlery kind of corn syrupy sweetness. Um, but yeah, it's like you know you threw um, you threw espadine and. Uh, you know, earthy, earthy cooked espadine and corn into a blender and some, somehow like mint just exploded out of it. I, I, explain it to me. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, a few squirts of water to this. Um, I'm sure, you know, maybe someone out there might be upset that I'm, that I'm doing this because of course, uh, you know, what is, what is it saying? Like, you know, mezcal with water is not mezcal, something like that. Uh, absolute nonsense. Um, you know, if you actually add water to these things, they respond very nicely most of the time. Um, okay. Anyways, um, so the the uh, the person who makes this or made this, um, Aquilino uh, Garcia Lopez, was really the impetus for my doing this series initially, or my thinking of doing doing this series. Um, he actually died uh, about a month before I recorded this. Um, was, uh, you know, um, so uh, Mezcal Vago has really made itself one of the sort of foremost representatives of artisanal mez Mezcal. And um, Aquilino um, really sort of became the head or one of the faces of, of that, uh, that, that, that group. Um, of course, they, they were sourcing from a whole bunch of different, different distilleries and they'll, you'll see different colored labels um, representing each one. But uh, his, but his was uh, the most prominent, and you'll see him in documentaries and things like that. Um, and uh, apparently, like uh, he also just grew corn and thought, of, you know, why not, why not throw corn in um, with my mezcal? Um, and if you're, you're, and if the elote thing sounds uh, familiar, I mean, I mean, so in I live in Chicago, right? And and um, um, if you go, especially up to parts of the north side, um, you'll find like. Uh, elote dealers. There are people selling corn on the cob, and you can put lots of unhealthy stuff on top of your your, your elote um, and eat it as a kind of street snack. Um, this is actually a really common thing in sort of Mexico, uh, Central and South America. And, uh, you know, hell, why not, why not distill it? I mean, that, that's fun. Uh, that's what I like about this. It's, it's very fun. Um, so, mezcal just gets really serious a lot of the time, and I understand why because they're trying to, you know, sell themselves as to, you know, on market drinkers. But um, it's fun. To, it's great to have something like this, which is just totally bonkers. Um, and I kind of love it. Um, okay, with with water. Um, okay, you get more sort of cigar cigarette ash coming out now. Still very very minty. Still, you know. It's sort of like your mint has now been buried in, in um, ashtray stuff. Um, agave syrup is now finally coming out, um, kind of the nectar. nectar. Um, more smoke. Maybe like one olive in there. Um, a little bit of burned celery. Um, and some coffee grinds um, also. But the mint is, you know, this is, this is just mint city. Oh. oh, with water, sweetens up a lot more. Oh, that's quite nice, actually. Um, still kind of the same thing, still, you know, um, mint and mud and <clears throat> um, uh, kind of cigar-y stuff that, you know, um, different kinds of uh, smoke maybe coming through now like 
I don't know, there's there's like wood smoke, but there's also like plastic smoke, coal smoke. It's really like someone tried to put out a fire with creme de menthe or something like that. Um, score wise, it's scoring this is absurd. Um, it's it's impossible. I mean, from an, uh, an objective point of view, you know, I, I would I would score this like an eighty four minus something like that. It it's not um, it has problems. I mean, there's tons and tons of character, but it's also I mean the the corn and the mint thing just just throws this off balance really hard. Um, and it's it's definitely not a traditional mezcal at all. It's there's some hints in that direction, but you know it's it's a, it's a different beast. Um, but I also kind of love it. I mean, I, I don't like it, but I love it. Um, cause it's just so, I mean, this is not like anything else I've had, um, beyond like creme de menthe or something like that. Right. Of course, creme de menthe is disgusting and, and, uh, and, um, artificial and terrible. This is, this still tastes real. I mean, it, and that sort of got me, um, in, in a headspace. Um, where I started thinking about uh, the Stinger, weirdly enough. You know the Stinger? That's, that's that cocktail that is not, no one can decide if it's really a cocktail or not because it's so sort of sweet and cloying. Um, okay, why don't people drink Stingers? Um, because they're, they're kind of gross and it's because creme de menthe is kind of gross. But what if you had, you know, something on hand that was very minty but not disgusting? Could you make a decent stinger if you had such a thing. Uh, my ice kind of melts a little bit, hang on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take half an ounce of my Vago Elote. I, I'm sure some people have discussed it right now. Um, and uh, I'm gonna add, uh, so this is the Pierre Ferrand cigar from a couple of years ago. There's no point in reviewing this because I don't think you can get it. Um, in brief, this is kind of, this represents a lot of things that I hate about cognac, but at the same time, I, I kind of like it anyways. Um, so I'm going to add an ounce and a half of this, so it's three to one. And this will be my um, Aquilino steam, uh, Stinger, if you like. So it's, you know, as, uh, mezcal creme de menthe, as, as it were, mezcal de menthe um, uh, with cognac. And... Put that in my rocks glass here. You know, this actually works. Um, I'm sure someone out there could adjust this a little bit, but this is actually a terrific little little summer cocktail. Um, yeah. Um, so, I hope this has given. Uh, Given Aquilino a laugh up there, because um, <laughs> I, I I I love his products. Um, this is this is this is it's fun. I mean, it's just a ton of fun. Um, I'm going to jo enjoy my um, Aquilino Stinger, and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Um, thank you for watching and cheers.